I genuinely don't know where to start. There's so much. Let's start letting a cat in. Hi, babies. You wanna purr? You wanna say hi to everybody? You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. No, you can't have my food. Yeah, say hi. We need to get like a cat tree set up back behind here. I think that'd be a good idea. I'm gonna put him with his sister, see if he'll stay. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Influenced, the spot where my goal is to get you guys to think critically about where you are currently spending your social media currency and hopefully help you guys make informed decisions about who you decide to follow. How am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna do that by exposing all the little truth that the influencers don't want you to hear. Today we got a big one. We got a heavy one. I'm gonna call it now. This is probably part one. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I'm just going for gold. So with all that being said, let's get into today's video. Today we are unraveling the lies of Kylie Gomez of Kylie Gomez's weight loss journey. Um, I believe she has a couple Facebook pages. I don't know, when I went on to look, there was like 17 that popped up. So not 100% sure what's going on there, but it's it's a thing. So as I said, Kylie G, I believe it's Kylie G weight loss journey on Facebook. And then there's also a support group and obviously her personal page as well. This. This last week, week and a half has been absolutely insane. Going through all the information and gathering it and taking what's provable truth and then trying to compile it in one video is impossible, guys. It's, it's going to be impossible. I wanted to sit down and start filming this because... I think that it's a really important thing to be talking about. She's spiraling right now and she's <laughs> she's borderline dangerous. Honestly, she's been doxing people, exposing people. Like it's just it's been wild. Wild journey. Today, I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll get straight into it. We'll just get straight into the nitty-gritty because I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it'll it take me seven hours to film this, eight hours, 20 hours. I don't even know how long it'll take me to film this because, because there's so much stuff. There's so much. Honestly, if you guys came here from the Basham video thinking that that was, that was bad, th this stuff is insane. Um, I am going to likely include some allegations in this video and you guys know that I'm not about that. I don't like to do that. I don't really think it's fair to spread false allegations. Like we said last week with the Bashams and stuff, the allegations of abuse or people, you know, seeing bruises and running with it, though that stuff can be really harmful. And I understand that and I still stay strong to my word on that. However, in this case, there's so many lies and obviously she's not going to come straight forward and be like I lied she's honestly the, the most pathological liar I've ever seen in my life if I'm I don't think she can help it but lie and I think that she's dug herself so far into this hole of lies that she's panicking and having a hard time coming back from it the reason that I decided you know what yeah I'm gonna cover it not only was the 85 million people who were like, cover her, she's problematic, which like, yeah, guys, good, good call. But also the fact that what she is doing and the information that she gives on her pages, her weight loss pages, it, it's dangerous. It's dangerous and it always has been. And then on top of that, she's exploiting her sorry guys this is gonna be hard for me this one's gonna be a hard one for me I didn't realize how triggering this was gonna be I guess 
but she's exploiting deaths of loved ones and friends, and she's also exploiting her miscarriage for money. And that's just not okay. It's just not okay. It's not okay to exploit a family member, a loved one, a friend, anyone's death for clicks and views because you're sad fishing. Because you know it will get you increased engagement. That's not okay. It's not. The fact that she's constantly threatening people and doxing people, it's just, it's insane. It's insane. I could go on, but I really just want to get started. So let's get started. (laughs) So Kylie Gomez is married to Joe Gomez. Her maiden name is Kylie something. Essentially, she is a weight loss, weight watchers, not ambassador. I don't think she is actually part of the Weight Watchers program, but she had joined Weight Watchers in 2021. I don't know. She says it in every other post. So She joined Weight Watchers July 5th, 2021, and claims to have lost, I believe she hit the 200 pound mark on Weight Watchers and Weight Watchers alone. Now, there's a lot of speculation that she might not have done it alone. However, I can't confirm that. There are posts, you can see them and make what you will with them, um, showing scars. If I can find it, maybe we'll take a look at it because If that's the case, if that's true, and I do, I have spoken to someone in her inner circle and they say that it's not true. They say that Kylie never had weight loss surgery. She had wanted to for a bit, but then didn't go through with it and decided otherwise. So again, take with that what you will. I can't confirm it. And to add that, like, I'm not an expert on weight loss and how to lose weight healthily healthily but it doesn't seem to me personally that this was a super rapid weight loss now I've only been following her for (laughs) following her I don't follow her um I've only known about her for let's say three weeks now so This is just from what I can gather, right? I haven't been on the cancel Kylie train for months now, but it doesn't look to be crazy fast. I went through some of her TikToks and it it was, you know, a couple weeks, a couple pounds sort of idea. I, I don't know when the shift happened, to be honest, and stuff like that and furthermore I don't think she lost weight in a healthy manner either but surgery not so so sure about meds I mean we'll never know she's never gonna come out and tell us I take Ozempic or I take this or I take that oh my god I got cat hair on me get off it's itchy she'll she'll never she'll never disclose that she'll also never disclose that she has lost the weight on her or sorry that she's had weight loss surgery because that goes against the image that she's built however literally everything out of her mouth goes against the image that she's built and it's just not okay she is a very very mean person very mean very cruel very calculated as well and she tries to play this I'm so innocent I'm so sweet I'm so Christian girl and I don't think that's okay it's a huge grift that people ride on and it's it's not okay it's not okay because it's like if you're on social media and say oh I'm a Christian automatically you have 60,000 followers it doesn't matter what kind of bullshit you spew so anyone can go on heck I could probably go on and say that and gain a ton of followers it's a grift this whole I love Jesus I love this I love that I love this and like preaching and shoving it down people's throats it's a grift it's a grift because the religious community tends to follow influencers who share the same religious background as them it's a huge thing and they'll blindly follow now I talked before we get into the allegations and such I talked to a former, like an ex-fan of Kylie's and they quit the groups just as fast as they joined. I want to share with you a couple things of what they said to me and what they sent me because I think it's really eye-opening. So 
The person opens with, I began following her when I signed up for Weight Watchers and was looking for recipes and inspiration and came across her page. And yes, initially her weight loss story pulls you in. Even with the, wow, she lost that much weight without weight loss surgery, good for her. There's still that doubt that creeps in, but I was cool giving her the benefit of the doubt. That's a big thing with people, especially if... If the allegations are true, if she's not doing it completely naturally by walking like she says she's walking, doing some light exercise, that's fine. It's moving your body that's good and eating healthy. If she's not actually doing it that way, that's shitty. And there's nothing wrong with having weight loss surgeries. One of my favorite influencers fully admits that they've had weight loss surgery and they did it to save their life. And they're not ashamed of it. They were too heavy. They had the surgery to save their life, to be there for their children, for their partner, for for them. So it's not shameful to have weight loss surgery if it's going to save your life. However, preaching to a $130,000 follower base, how can I say that? However, preaching to 130,000 people that you've lost it weight naturally, especially such a big amount of weight naturally, when you actually haven't, that's horrific. Why would you do that? Because now you're setting your poor fan base up for failure. Do you not realize that? Because they will never be able to achieve the results that you've achieved by getting the surgery, by taking drugs if those allegations are true that's kind of like the the worst of the worst because that makes you a fraud no you're a fraud in her own ways fine but still but I was cool giving her the benefit of the doubt then the talks about the miscarriages and g baby g I've never been pregnant and never given birth so I tend to keep my opinions on those issues to myself but after a while it was just too much it made me question myself like am I just being insensitive or a bitch or cynical like fair then the stalking bullying posts I started noticing a pattern and started making these little bets with myself on what she'd post next or her next reaction and keep in mind here this is a this is a ex follower this isn't just a bully or a hater this is an ex-follower who started to notice these patterns and started to be like okay this is weird or this is too much or whatever and I was spot on every time it's repetitive and predictable and I questioned how does she even have this many followers that comes back to these social media influencers who are crappy people And they're making their followers feel crazy because it's like, it's not normal. Your behaviors aren't normal. But I mean, she has 130,000 followers. So it's like, okay, well, like I haven't been through that personally. So you know what? Maybe it is me. And then you start down that train. And that's the dangers of social media is the comparison, right? That's not ultimately Kylie's fault. No. But when you have a platform of followers, you have to be responsible with the information that you're sharing. You know, it's the highlight reel and we need to be careful. And then in the next breath, she says she's real and raw and tells us that it's that about. It's just, no, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. I'd catch comments here or there where someone would question her and I noticed passive aggressive aggressive comments I'd catch a comment here or there where someone would question her and I noticed the passive aggressive answers and posts in the response and announcing you're no longer telling people your location when you go somewhere and then almost in the same day giving out your location for your next vacation or concert or rodeo or whatever she literally just did that so I don't know when she said that she wasn't posting her location anymore but I have a feeling there was something with a cruise ship or something or no it was a concert someone bought concert tickets to come and stalk me and body shame me really really and people believe that that is ridiculous and if that did happen press charges with that person 
No, you're coming after these internet bullies who are telling the truth that you don't want your followers to find out. Go after the real problem. If you're getting threatened, if you're getting approached in public, also like, I can't even afford a concert ticket right now, let alone going to one every other freaking weekend. And no, I'm not an influencer. I don't get paid on three times my salary on social media. No, fine, whatever. But newsflash, I don't know if you've seen the state of North America in the last two, three years, but you flexing your freaking privilege for getting paid on social media, it's really out of touch. Now, now caveat that by saying you are free to do what you want with your money but to sit there and be like people are stalking me and coming to a concert just to body shame me no give your head a shake nobody's going to a concert to body shame someone half the people can't afford groceries half the people can't afford to pay their rent or electricity nowadays and someone's going to buy a concert ticket to go body shame you like no we're not reddit people facebook people they're not that committed I can guarantee you that. Guarantee you. She literally posted the other day that she was going to Texas with Gru and Gag from last week's episode and they're going to the rodeo there. Mm, I thought you weren't posting your location before you went, only after you go. You have a following. If you guys were truly scared for your safety and crap, thinking that you're these big famous influencers, then you wouldn't be posting that stuff. Guys, this is only the beginning two of like this video and I'm already mad <laughs> I'll try and add some humor in I'll try and keep it light but like this is it's been rough it's been and she also threatened me too so like I'm kind of like okay okay come at me good luck finding my little igloo up here in Canada <sighs> People of the internet. Is there people out there really going to spend their time and money to track down what cruise you're going on that too like I'm not gonna <laughs> God, I could use a freaking vacation, guys. I haven't been on vacation in 12 years and I have four kids and my hair's like falling out. No, it's not. But anyways, yeah, yeah. Trust me, if I was going to book a cruise, I would make sure you were not on that cruise because good freaking Lord, could you imagine? Could you imagine if like by accident, one of us ended up on the same cruise as her? Don't ever approach an influencer in public, seriously, though. It's not, it's weird. It's weird. Especially with hate. Don't do that. It's not okay. Okay? Okay. And she mentioned that she's run this and that by her therapist, and her therapist is okay with her job and doesn't think she should quit, and all of her diagnosis is blah, 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 trauma events in her life, yada, yada, yada. Make, made me question what kind of therapist does she have. So, again, this girl, I think it's a girl, I believe it's a girl, has a freaking head on her shoulders to start questioning this what really your therapist would say that are you sh are you sure or what really like okay people are buying concert tickets but the problem is is the, the mass amounts of her following they they're not thinking like this and i i don't know why but she is starting to unravel like i said in the beginning she's starting to unravel and it's crashing and burning it's crashing and burning they don't know the whole story right I'm sure the therapist is only getting half truth so yeah I've talked about this again and it, that's exactly it even if she were to get help were to go to therapy which genuinely is what I'm hoping I, like as much hurt as this person has done to people and as crappy as a person she is and as much as her platform needs to be shut down Kylie please, please get the help that you need. I, I don't know if you're still in therapy, but if you are, go find a new therapist. They're not helping you. They're not doing you any favors right now. Go speak to a nutritionist, a licensed therapist and nutritionist. Go get help and get off the internet. You're not healthy right now. Nobody wants harm to come of you. They want you to take accountability and get healthy and get the help that you need. Seriously, this isn't about hating on you. It's not. It's about the fact that you're lying to your followers and that's not okay. Catfish episode, another confirmation. Cheating, not cheating video. Nonstop hair touching. I thought it was just me 
that it bothered, lol. So many things don't add up. One or two, maybe, even three of the things she said, slash done, slash been through, whatever, wouldn't raise any red flags in most cases. But you add all this up, years of this crap, and there's something seriously wrong within her. Yes, she needs major psychiatric help. And until Reddit, I never considered her primary audience as over older women. So true. It does surprise me how quickly people jump to her defense time after time after time. Guys, if you are constantly having to defend an influencer against hate... There's something up with that influencer. Go do your research. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing with this channel. Blindly following people and supporting them, it's, it's, it's not where it's at anymore. And like this person said, it's very easy to get drawn into her story, right? It's, it, and it's very easy for her to draw you in with that story, right? Oh, I had, oh, what a, oh, what a, you know? I've lost this much weight. I've lost that. I'm so inspirational. Look at me. Look at my before, my after, blah, blah. Yeah, that's all amazing. Good. I'm glad you lost the weight. You looked really unhealthy. Unfortunately, you still look pretty unhealthy because of what you put in your body, but like that's a whole nother ball game. I've already addressed go see a nutritionist. But guys, Stop defending people. If people are calling them out, go do your research. And no matter what, if you're on the internet, you're going to have a hate following. Fine, whatever. There's going to be people that make up stuff. But that shouldn't affect you. If the stuff isn't true, laugh at it and move on. Why do you let it affect you so much? Maybe growing up, she never had someone in her life call her on her bullshit and tell her to grow up or put her big girl panties on and deal with it, and it shows. People like her are exhausting to be around, and I feel like they do nothing but bring other people down. Yeah, she would. She would bring you down to feel better about herself, of course. It's so blatantly obvious. Even when she tries to post uplifting messages, it's followed by drama, conflict, and passive-aggressive responses. I don't have time for that. And you're right. If she were to focus, so this is what I had said before. I said that if she would just focus on her stuff and doing what her page is there to do and the recipes and stuff like that, the weight loss journey, this wouldn't be a problem. This wouldn't be a video being made right now. But she doesn't. She doesn't. Even if I don't, agree with all of it her page would be nice I'm even okay with a few tidbits of dealing with real life situations while trying to lose weight thrown in there but good grief I am so tired of which coffee she's which coffee drink she's drinking from where salsa chicken cheesecake and crumble cookies I can't stand it I was just hoping for some cool ww recipes tips and tricks so there you go first hand account from an ex-follower and I'm so glad that this person managed to get out ahead of the game and this only took them like four months to unravel basically and also I find it really funny and, and I, I can't remember who coined this term I'll have to go back and find them and give them credit for it but the term non-tent that's literally what she posts right she claims to be this weight loss this inspirational this 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 and she's constantly posting I had this coffee today it's this kind from this place and I had this coffee today and Joe went and got me this coffee and Joe and this and that and it's non-tent nobody cares and that's not what your thing is about and sure you're allowed to change niches and yada yada you're allowed to do other things new things whatever but don't sit there and say that you're hosting a weight loss journey page when all you talk about is co where what did she say coffee salsa chicken cheesecake crumble cookies joe and traveling and concerts that's not a weight loss anything you're not providing anything of value for the followers who followed you for the weight loss content and that's not fair if you want to change niches change niches 
create something new, but it's not fair to your current followers who are there for a reason to do that. So I thought that was really interesting um, and important to open with, mainly because I think it's really valuable to have a fan's perspective, um, to kind of see like the inside, the ins and outs of her page and to make sure that everyone that I've been getting my information from isn't, you know, just a bunch of crazy haters and bullies, right? No. People with common sense can see through all of the BS, all of the lies and the constant whatever. All right. So let's get into some of the poking some holes in her her story and her way of being so first of all she's constantly posting not on the monetized page not on her personal page on her support page that she's getting bullied and harassed big words and she's trying to convince her followers that people are going out of their way to contact her and attack her which she completely contradicts by saying anyone who bullies and harasses me, I block and and delete. If you block and delete everyone who bullies you or harasses you, then how are you still getting bullied and harassed? Right? It doesn't make sense. No, what she's doing is she herself is going and looking up stuff like the Reddit snark, stuff like the Facebook snark or exposed page and and then saying it's harassment. No, people are posting receipts of what you post to the internet. They're posting those receipts and commenting about it. That's not harassment. Nobody's messaging her. You want to know how I can confidently say, even without proof, that nobody's messaging her? Because she never proves it. She never shows the receipts of, look at what this person said to me. This person messaged me this, this person, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to say my little side note. If you are messaging her or sending her direct hate in any way, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? We want to call them out on their BS. We don't want to send threats. Because then we're just as bad as she is. Right? And that's, that's not what this is about, at least on my end. Not what it's about. It's about holding her accountable and getting a dangerous platform shut down because this, 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 isn't, this isn't where it's at, okay? But don't send a creator hate ever. But I know that you're not because, because she never proves it. But what does she do? Something like this, okay? So I don't know why I think you quote here. She posts something like this. Now, I'm obviously showing you this one because I'm not going to dox this woman. But Kylie put her face on her support group page. God knows she couldn't put it on the other page, on her bigger page, right? I'm going to start sharing pictures of the woman who harassed me. Here is one of them. If they are going to harass me daily, they should be aware that I'm going to start sharing their photos here. So she's going to start doxing people. Technically, I can't call it doxing. Technically. Because she didn't post the people's names. So good job you didn't dox anyone this time. But she posted the full faces of these women on her social media platform. And then kept them up to allow her little minion fans to go and harass these women. I kid you not. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't. The post was up for, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Enough to accrue upwards of 50 comments bullying these women. And what are these women doing? Well, one of them did reach out to me. Wait for it. And what did they say? I am one of Kylie's doxing victims. She blocked me long before I took that profile picture. So what did she do? She went to her block list, unblocked people, 
grabbed their profile pictures and posted them to her page. How can you justify that? That right there is a huge sentence and I feel like the first time I read that, I didn't even think of it. But reading it again, she blocked me long before I took that profile pic. Which means that how can this woman who was doxxed and bullied and harassed possibly be harassing you? How? Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. You can't sit there and be like, these are the women who've been harassing me after all the harassment, this, that, and the other things for the last God knows how long. You can't do that. Like, what the f- She blocked me when I suggested there was enough room in her fridge for condiments Joseph could use for his lunch. So I don't, I don't know what the reference is. I don't know what the post is or whatever. But that is a reason she blocked someone. Because they suggested put the condiments there. So the other doxing. (sighs) I've held on to a toxic person in my life for far longer than I should have because I was afraid to let it, let go. Joseph and I have been on my brother's phone plan for an extended amount of time and my brother, I think I'm going to blur out his name guys, uh, just because, had been, and my brother had been using my calls slash text to trace my location and put me in unsafe situations. He does work at AT AT&T in Kansas City, Missouri, and as of today, I have fully cut him off from our lives. So not only did she say that first thing, but then she followed up with this next thing. This morning, I'm having to file a restraining order against my own family for stalking slash harassment. Pretty disheartening to have to do it, but it's what it's come down to. His full name, first and last, of Web City, Missouri, works for AT&T and had been using his job to stalk me and put me in unsafe situations. I can confirm without a shadow of a doubt that this is a blatant lie. It's a lie. And she eventually says it's a lie. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Let's see. Wait for it, wait for it. So... Then she follows up with this. Upon further investigation, he did not use his job to obtain private information about me, but after a very toxic friendship for over a decade, we are moving forward without one another. This was a friendship that wasn't healthy for myself or for him, mainly for him. And we won't be ever rekindling that friendship. He asked for a public apology And this is as much of an apology as he is going to get Consider the hurt he's put me through in the past. No comments necessary. I'm sorry. That's not an apology. Do you know what she did to him with those last posts? She had over 200 of her stands phone his work put him under investigation. She lied about him drinking on the job and he had to go through alcohol testing, drug testing, basically, to go to work, to work a job that he's worked his ass off to get and to move up and to get promotions. She did that. She weaponized her following under a false accusation, two technically false accusations, to hurt this person. Who does that? That is disgusting of you to do that. But as I've come to learn, evidently she's a master manipulator and she knows how to pull at people's heartstrings one way or another. Either it's pull at people's heartstrings to get sympathy and attention or pull at them to hurt them. And she does it all the time. Doxing people is not okay ever period it's dangerous what if her 200 fans that called in to try and get this guy fired showed up at his work what would you guys have done how far would that have escalated you going to bat for someone like this and why the hell would you go to bat for someone like this why would you believe oh you know what 
I know why they believe or benefit of the doubt. It comes back to what that original follower said. It's so hard to believe that someone like this would do something like this. Would go so far as to this. That, that a human being on the planet would go so far as to dock someone's information and exactly where they work. That's messed up. And then evidently in the comments was trash talking this person. So this doxing and that one picture that I showed you was only one person that ended up, I mean, one of like seven or eight women who got doxed that day within that hour. And it kind of leads into the next topic I want to talk about. And do you remember last week when we talked about parasocial relationships with influencers and how that's dangerous and especially when children are involved that can be super dangerous. First thing I want to show you guys is the parasocial relationship that her fans have with her. This is a heart-wrenching post. Okay well I didn't see <laughs> I don't see this one but here's one. So, so you, you could always keep a tree up for different holidays yada yada yada. My friend is coming next week. So I'm trying to get the house cleaned up. Just had to get put up. Oh my god, you responded to my comment. Hard, 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 la, la, la. You inspire me, Kylie. Thank you so much. I have made some healthier food decisions because of the things you post. You are amazing. What? What does she post that's healthy? What have you gained from... Mmm, girl. That's sad. True, it's your life and your decisions. As long as you're not hurting anyone, you don't have to explain your decisions to anyone. And of course, you have a right to post whatever you want on your own page. Much of the content you post is good and encouraging, and many people are grateful for that, I'm sure, including myself. However, I have noticed that you also make posts quite often that scold and complain about people who you say have been mean to you slash made cruel or unkind comments on your posts. I certainly do not condone people being cruel or unkind, and I understand how that can be hurtful. That being said, at the same time, it's important to be a good role model. Thank you, fan, top fan. I'm sorry you're a top fan of hers. Find better idols, but like, thank you. A better role model to people if you are going to have a public page. That has a purpose of encouraging others, as you have stated. And when you keep getting upset with people and making negative posts to complain about what other people have said, it gets to be too much and it doesn't help your cause. I noticed that you have made these negative posts many times and then sometimes go back and delete them later in the day and then make another negative post. Ooh, is there more? There is. It's important to understand that if you're going to have such a public page slash following, unfortunately, that does go hand in hand with some people being unkind at times. That's the sad truth. That's the truth about being on the internet. And that's the thing is like, she's trying so hard, so desperately to control the narrative around her and... The reason I think that she's trying so desperately to control it is because she doesn't want this, her true colors to be shown because she's built this platform on this false facade of herself, right? This false persona. She's literally catfishing her freaking fan base. Guys, you guys are being catfished. Maybe she's not con concealing her identity, but she's 100% concealing her personality is like a whole new level of catfishing. 2.0 right here. And are you surprised? No. Oh, sorry, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, I need a new chair. Oh, we'll get there eventually. Okay. And I know those comments can hurt, but you have to have a thick enough skin to at least not publicly lash out to these people all the time. All the time. Exactly. You make yourself look foolish and silly. If you can handle negative comments and it's too much in your mental health, as you've stated, then you are better off not running such a public page. The truth can hurt, but it can also help us if we allow it to. Also, to be honest on your page as well, I have seen online that you've had weight loss surgery with a picture as well, but your page states that you have not had weight loss surgery. If you're going to continue to run this page, page please be honest with your followers and continue to post uplifting content rather than negative complaining posts anytime someone offends you. Let the hard things in your life mold your character into a better stronger person rather than let these things cause you to be a victim to cause you to be in victim mentality which is where she lives she lives in victim mentality and victim mindset she literally can't help herself but play the victim why because 
She gets the sad fish points, right? She gets the, um, God, how can we say it? She gets the attention, the attention that she's seeking when she does that, when she plays victim and stays in victim mindset. And that's from a top fan, a top fan. Bye-bye, top fan, LOL, welcome to Reddit, <laughs> right? Okay, so, oh, here's another top fan post or fan comment, sorry. So do you see what she's doing, digging herself her own grave? Nobody is allowed to disagree. Nobody is allowed to say anything about anything to her. Otherwise, you know, they'll get blocked. And you can't run a page that's fully positive. It, it just... You can unfriend me, but I'm going to be honest with you. You are no fun to watch and listen to any longer. You're whiny and spoiled. You sure feel good enough to go shopping all the time and treat your husband like crap. A lot of us have, has had crappy childhoods. My mother sent me running in front of a car when I was four years old. What? Sent me running in front of, what? Like on purpose? I need more details. Is that fan in the Reddit page? Come, come tell me the details, please. I'm, I'm so curious. What the fuck? Yeah, that's, that's worse. Marriage is a joint effort for two people. Poor Joseph is going to be spending the holidays alone at this rate, but he needs to get used to it if he's waiting for you. Grow up, Kylie. What? You don't know anything about my marriage. Have a blessed day. But I do. I've been in a situation like yours. I'm also 73 and have lived through a whole lot of pain. Yeah, no like actual pain I can't find the one that I want but it was really really sad it really played into the parasocial relationship it was essentially this fan and they got blocked because man I can't I don't even remember why they got blocked it was something silly if my memory serves me properly it was something really surface level really simple as that and I think they had posted somewhere else I think maybe on one of her other pages Kylie, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I need your page. I look forward to your page. Your page brings me so much joy. It's the only thing that helps me in life and stuff like that. Oh, my heart honestly breaks for that person. It does, especially because the role model that you got sucked into following is such a toxic, spiteful, hateful person. And she acts it's like she appreciates and loves and adores her fans she's very very good at love bombing right at making you feel good at making you feel noticed but the minute you don't 100 percent agree with her and i'm talking about mm, try it with green peppers instead of red peppers next time because it's it's like it brings that little crunch factor you will get blocked immediately she is obsessively blocking people obsessively i would love to see how long her block list is honestly i would love to see it is there a limit on the number of people you can block i mean i don't want to give kylie any pro tips i'm sure 45 minutes into this video she's not going to be sitting around still listening no she's probably copyright struck struck me already by now let's be realistic i honestly and genuinely cannot imagine i don't even know where i was going with that I totally lost my train of thought. I don't even remember what we were talking about. What were we talking about? <laughs> Her fans being crazy? Nope, it's gone. Okay, moving on. This segues really nicely into talking about parasocial relationships, which I will put the definition. Let's go right here. Right here for you, okay? They're parasocial relationships. Her fans obviously have them with her, but Kylie herself is the queen of parasocial relationships the queen of them and it's insane to me that this is a thing most of her fans obviously have a really big parasocial relationship with her essentially this perceived relationship if she responds to them they get all excited they get all giddy oh my gosh you responded wow all that sort of stuff now I want to kind of segue into Kylie's problematic behaviors her obsessive behaviors with other creators with um celebrities 
and also get into some of the stalking charges as well because there are charges and forms against her for stalking guys, which is nuts to me. Sorry, looking at one of her scams. I think I think that's what we're going to do. This video will be exposing the problems, the problematic behaviors. The next video can expose the scams. Oh, and I believe I just heard my kids just get home. Uh, so it might go a little loud for a minute or two when they, hi, I'm home. But daddy's down there. She can't stop, won't stop being a stalker. Yeah, so we're going to talk about her being a little obsessed with brewing game. Stalking charges, here we go. Okay, so the charges against her. One is a collection center. I guess there's outstanding medical bills, I believe is what it is. Yet yeah, flexes that she makes three months salary in one month on Facebook, on social media. What are you doing with your life? Pay off your debt. But here you go. Two, adult abuse without stalking and then adult abuse stalking. Oh, so this one says without stalking. So I wonder what that's about. And the state of the case is a protection order for both of them. Yeah, so one was in 2012 and one and the stalking one was in 2016. Anyway, her her maiden name is Welton. So that's why it's Kylie Welton. It's from where she's from. So you can't, you can't, you can't deny it. And that brings me into the next topic. We, we switch positions here. She's got 20.2k followers and 200k likes. So it's, again, not that big, right? And on Facebook, I think she boasts about 130k followers. Followers? Yeah, followers on Facebook. So she's not like a super huge influencer. And thank God. I want you to take a peek at this for me. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the beginning. Not gonna sing. I won't expose you to her singing either. My internet is slow. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Okay, we made it. <sighs> okay, so I want you to take a look at this, at this obsessive fangirl behavior because I, I don't know, I think that it's super weird. Um, and I know we've kind of all been there and we've all tagged people and, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. And it's okay to, I wouldn't say it's okay to idolize someone. It's okay to look up to someone. That's a better way than, than idolizing because I think that's where it gets scary. Like the idolization is where it's like that person can do no wrong in your, in your eyes. It's very cultish. And that's the vibe that her followers and her group gives because like the obsession with her, no matter what you say, no matter what you try to explain, they're so quick to bat to defend her. And you're like, why? She's not even a good person. Come on, guys. So first mention of Drew, who they're now best friends with. And I don't know, you guys can tell me if you get creepy vibes from this, because I get creepy vibes from it. So at Drew, thank you so much for inspiring me. Cry face. So she inspired her. Oh, and look. At Drew, reflecting on my journey, I see how much I tagged you. Heart, heart, heart. You inspire me, girl. That's not looking back. I see how much I tagged you. That's weird. It's one thing to be like, you inspired me. Yeah, fair. If <laughs> like, ah, I said it last video too. Trash attracts trash. Right? Look, the proof is in the pudding right? And for some reason, the Bashams let her weasel their way in there. No, let her weasel her way in there. <laughs> it upsets me. It doesn't upset me. I'm not actually upset. I'm just like, okay, Gary L Lev Vo Levox. Levox, I gotta, I, we're gonna say his name 50,000 times. Hold on. So Gary Levox, 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 the French of you. Okay, so Gary Levox official, at Rascal Flats. Did she also tag him? Nope, just Rascal Flats in that one. Also, if you didn't know, I didn't realize because I don't know, like, 
band name. Like, I'm not a groupie, so I don't know, like, band names. I know Rascal Flatts. I love Rascal Flatts. I know who Gary LaVox is. He's very talented. He's a great singer. But I didn't know who it was until I, like, started digging more. And I was like, oh, 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 that's who everybody's talking about. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Rascal Flatts. Gary LaVox. There's another one tagging Drew. Wait, why can't you see? Oh, I'm not holding far enough. <gasps> Hold on. Okay, there we go. Uh, so there's another one with Drew. Oh, you can't see my cursor at the end. Right here. Okay. Coffee Ninja Weight Loss. Gavin DeGraw. I'm sure it's another country singer. And Wilson, like, tag, tag. She's she is noticed by these people. Did we pass the Blake Shelton? Brian Fuller music. I don't know who Brian Fuller is either. Oh, I think I looked at his page. He's actually really talented as well. Another one. Second one in. Oh, you can't see my What happened last time? Weird. So this one. Hashtag Thomas Rhett. Didn't tag him in it though. Gary LaVox official. Best year of my entire life. Why? Did you get to meet Gary LaVox? She doesn't mention him. So then it's really interesting to me because her one post here. Her one post here. Uh, 8 2020 she kind of goes radio silent and on 5 or sorry 9 7 september sorry september 12th she talks about having the miscarriage but nowhere in any of these videos did she announce the pregnancy which is kind of weird to me because she did announce the pregnancy on her facebook page i think so it's weird to me that she like just decided not to announce it on TikTok. Maybe she wasn't super big on it or super um, active on TikTok. I know that a lot of social media people will start on one platform and then kind of slowly expand, but I don't know. Just, I find it really weird how in the months that she knew she was pregnant, which would be, when did she find out? Okay, holy moly, back and... That means I'm basically at the end of my line for recording for today. It's been a while, so I think we got I think we got a lot to talk about. But I do want to finish up the parasocial relationship aspect of it, the stalking aspect of it, um, in this episode at least. So we'll we'll keep going. So as we were saying, okay. So here's another one: Gary Lovix official, Lovox, Lovox, Lovix. Here, Gary Lovix, Lovox. Gary LaVox, Gary LaVox official, Gary LaVox, Gary LaVox, Gary LaVox. At Kelsey Ballerini, I've lost 152 pounds and the hashtag negative voices in my head that were telling me I'm not good enough. There's like a lot of comments on this one. 52 comments. Okay. Can't wait to see ya, Dan and Shay. So at Dan and Shay, at Carly Pierce, at Jimmy Allen, at Joe Nichols. Sister, Morgan Whalen, Brian Fuller, okay. Oh, she tried with Morgan Whalen a bunch of times. Hashtag Morgan, at Morgan Whalen, Morgan Whalen, like six times just there. Rascal Flats official again, Gary LaVox official. Here's another Drew one. Luke Holmes, Gary LaVox official, Blake Shelton. This is one that I wanted you guys to take a peek at because six months ago, I lost my son, yada, yada, yada. You know, your music got me through. She Googled music near her and ended up going to see him in concert by herself, which like, who took this picture then? A stranger? You asked a stranger to take a picture of you, but okay. Teach their own, I guess. Or like, did she set up a tripod? Like, I'm just gonna put my phone here. Like, don't walk in front of me. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a selfie of myself. Like, don't, don't walk in front of me, okay? Hey, Blake Shelton. Sorry, you guys can't see that. I'm just gonna cut my face off for a second. Hello. So, hey Blake, Shelton, Carly Pierce, Gwen Stefani, thanks for coming to the at whatever and giving me a reason to get out of bed for the day. And Carly Pierce said, sending you so much love, to which she responded, thank you so much, Carly, this made my day. No, again, I understand how like, yeah, that, that could make someone's day. Getting responded to, kind of getting that attention, it makes you feel special. It gives you a hit of dopamine and then you seek it more. And I feel like that's essentially what she's trying to, to do. And you can, you can see it with all of her struggles, with her struggle with food, with her struggle with her weight, with her struggle with shopping and the addiction because it's the dopamine hits that she's constantly seeking out constantly right so yeah sure I get it that that would be super cool to happen but the fact that she 
that she tags someone in every single post. Like you're seeking attention at this point. It's desperation, it's obsessive. It really is. And coming from someone who has stalking charges against her, and restraining orders against her. I'm sure it'll try and be gaslit of like, oh, you know, like they were actually stalking me and they, I threatened a restraining order. So they, uh, so they filed one first. Okay. You can't just go, like they don't just hand out restraining orders. You need to prove that that person was a danger to you, unfortunately, but like, see, and then like this, this comment here, I lost my daughter September 26th at 35 weeks red clay strays red clay strays has been my rock as they told me music and god heals that's horrific and mama native like i'm so sorry for your loss but she had an early miscarriage and i don't want to talk about it right now i don't want to talk about it right now that is a reason for real long-term horrific grief so i'm sorry for your loss mama native I really am. So I wanted to show you that one because, you know, it made her day. Another Drew one. This is where this crap gets dangerous. Now, because she's a social media influencer, she's got that kind of like benefit of the doubt trust. I guess like social media influencers can't be shitty people. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. But like, I oh. watch this video. I make sure it all works and everything. Hey. I can't believe I have to watch this again, guys. All right, so I'm just gonna throw you all off and we're gonna switch sides here. The video's going on that side. In the last week? Uh, first time you tagged them was uh, 2021. Yeah, November 5th. God sent you to my for you page whenever she just said and it saved my entire life again we come back to it's okay to look up to people and for people to inspire you but to say that some random person on the internet has saved your entire life just because they popped up on your for you like no that's weird i'm gonna call bs on this because like you get hear her voice is like this right She's not emotional talking about this. She's nervous because she's pitching herself to Drew and is fearing rejection. And I guarantee if Drew didn't respond and say, oh, I loved him, me, 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 that she would, de she would have deleted this post. Guaranteed. Could I celebrate, celebrate my journey? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, celebrate your way that would be so, so, so much to me. So, so I, I have, have a... a, 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 a that would just mean so much to me. Hear her proposal. So, this is a good one. I know that I'm a stranger on the internet. See how long she said it for? It'll be no too much treat because you're going to save my life. I'm talking a manager, a creditor, a facial. I've barely pampered myself. I know I'm a stranger on the internet. She is also a stranger on the internet. It's one thing if it happens organically and it's a whole nother level to tag someone in every other post until they see you and then reach out to them and be like, hey, let's meet up. Or sorry, film a TikTok for them and say, hey, let's meet up. Like this is next level. Like, yeah, I, I, I always felt like I didn't deserve, deserve those things. Um, um, I struggle with self-love, self-worth, self-confidence. Um, um, in, in a way, I, I still struggle, but I'm trying to kind of return oh, to that. Yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. heard all this all along. Even even every point, I found it better, which was hard to see. So I was on a girl's day, and then Trini and Gabe gave the dinner after a girl's day. I know this is a weird proposal, so hit the nail on the head right there. This is a weird fucking proposal. Take all the time you need to think about it, but, but I just love, I just you. love you. You, you. I just love you. 
you changed my entire life. Changed my entire life. A stranger on the internet. Does why 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 would this be the perfect way why not like buy yourself a new wardrobe instead of flying to texas why not go on a vacation and show off your new beach bod could that you're so proud of like why is this the perfect that's what i don't get why is this the perfect way because she's obsessed because she wants the attention because drew and gabe have I don't know if this was before her cancellation or whatever, but have millions of followers on TikTok and across their platforms. If we go here, oh my God, this is going to take 800 years. She has 3,000 followers. I know you guys can't see that, sorry. 3,000 followers, okay? And on Instagram alone, Drew has 280. So like... Someone on the internet encouraged her to be a better me. Ew, she said it again. Stop telling strangers on the internet that you love them. And like, oh, I'm going to pull it up. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it live right now. Right now. Parasocial relationships are one-sided relationships where one person extends emotional energy, interest, and time, and, and the other party, the persona, is completely unaware of the other's existence. Now, she did it so much that the other party is no longer unaware of her existence. So I guess we can't call it a parasocial relationship anymore, can we? Up until this point, until Drew responded, we could because she responded right here. Right here in like 663. <laughs> but wait, why didn't she save your life? I'm so confused. Yeah, literally, because she introduced me to Weight Watchers. You've never heard of Weight Watchers? Or sorry inspired me to join oh she was probably in the freaking grifting group ew that means you know that they're racist pieces of people and you mm -hmm. drew and gabe did the weight watchers ambassador program so they were probably pushing that for a long time and before they got dropped from weight watchers this is gem of a person found them and uh yeah 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 this is Ako taco guys like, that is the cringiest, most awkward video I've ever seen in my life. And, like, we got to give it to her. Like, that took balls to do. Why? Why would these people, like, as much as people trash the Bashams, and they have a lot more trashers than this girl does, why would, like, would this, maybe she got them more engagement. Maybe it was because she started buying stuff for them. I don't understand. I don't understand how a creator or influencer would see this and be like, yeah, yeah, let's meet this person. Like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get what went through your mind when you watched this video. Like, was it sweet and endearing because she's all nervous and all emotional? Like, no, guys, this is dangerous. This is how people get in very very dangerous, very bad situations. And yet here she is. And now Drew is saying, I'm scared to go out in public. I'm scared this, I'm scared that, thinking they're these huge A-lister celebrities. Like, no, you're not. And if you are scared, change your online habits. Don't let creepy people who cyber stalk you for months into your personal life. What are you thinking? What, just because she has an online persona? Where's the logic? So I wanted to show you that, guys, because it was really cringy in our pursuit of stalking this. Drew, okay, so here's another Rascal Flats. Here's Dan and Shay. Well, at least she's singing their song, like at the very least, like, cool, I guess. And then here, Gary LaVox, Gary LaVox. Jesus is doing stuff, I guess. We are going to watch this video. Did I download it? All right, let's get back to the sh show. Gary Lavox, apparently that's super cringy. Where is the video? Okay, I'm letting my butterfly something, something. Oh, it looks like she might have cooled it on the tags unless they're in the comments. I'm not going through all of these to look at the comments and stuff. But yeah, she definitely... <laughs> slowed down on the tagging gary lavox coffee addiction recovery take me there good morning nashville 
Oh, is he tagged here? No, no. It's the Lord. What the f Why would you- Ugh. I'm new to your Facebook. I lost a baby during delivery from doctor negligence. I sued the hospital. I'll never forget that pain. Yeah, no doubt, but she didn't lose the baby due to negligence and she contradicts herself in her posts and stuff and we'll we'll get into that. That'll probably be next episode because I like I said, I have to wrap up and it's already been another 30 minutes. Okay, so she's here with him and didn't tag him in it. That's interesting at the end here. Queens don't hate. Hey friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey friends. Tell me your advice about uh queens don't hate. Don't spread hate, right? Tell me. Tell me uh all your advice, please. Please. It's heavy. There might be times in life when you are not everybody's cup of tea. And what you know, if you're not everyone's cup of tea, you're probably doing something right. Because you're remaining true to who you are. You can't please everybody and yourself and be true to who you are. So just became yourself. And the right people that are right for your life will find you. Be honest. And they can be friends these days. And that's okay. I'm wearing my favorite shade of pink, waiting for live music. Which evidently is, is a new grifty thing too. She doesn't actually like pink. She's never liked pink before, but now she's riding this pink grift for some reason because like another influencer really liked pink. So like, and I've got a lot of joy in my heart today. And it's funny. It's funny. Stay true to yourself. But Kylie, you've never worn pink before in your life before you met whoever introduced you to pink. So stay true, right? And that's what's most important. Love you guys. I don't love you. Stop, don't tell, stop. You're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. And if that's the case, you're doing something right. So, I just, I got, okay, okay. I feel like I wasn't, I, the baby's in here with me now, so. Oui, bonjour, Christy, monsieur. Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Oui, tu peux voir. Mais tu regardes ta caméra? Oui. Merci, bébé. I have a feeling I forgot to pull play again, which is highly unfortunate because I had paused it when my daughter came in. But I just kind of finished going through the TikTok and stuff like that, and essentially all those tags that we saw, that's that's just on TikTok, and to me that's super just super attention seeking and cringe and she reposted those thanks so much drew and drew and donna and ug for dinner tonight such a bright light so she didn't even oh my god look at this she didn't even film hi guys oh you're so tiny like a new video she literally just reposted her hey drew please meet me video and then said thanks for dinner wait 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 qu'est-ce qu'il Okay, now this is interesting. Uh, you never go unnoticed, and I'll never be able to tell you how much I appreciate and love you, girl. See you soon, see you. And she probably thinks he actually loves her, and like she's got a shot with him. Hmm, I wonder if he knows. I wonder if he knows. This is a valid point. Gary has a reputation to protect. Trust me when I say he likes that she's a fan, but she's not as important to him as she makes up in her imagination okay so i posted this asking if anyone knew anytime she tagged gary grammy responded you are a saint by the way grammy i appreciate you i appreciate you a lot here are the links for the gary meltdown and the telephone meltdown parts three and four are a must watch it shows how mentally unstable and how far she is as far as stalking she cried more tears over him than she has since her i think since her grandma's passing away sorry when when there's a spelling mistake my brain glitches and doesn't know what to do let's take a look at these meltdowns i'm trying to click the link on the wrong screen okay gary because what i know about him he didn't take it down because he was mad at me he probably took it down to and for, to protect me honestly i mean i don't know that but i would assume i would assume but he literally had to take down his posts about me because people kept creating fake profiles to say mean things about me on his posts they always say this. People keep creating fake profiles to say mean things about me. I literally have ex followers reaching out to me saying like, it's it's exactly what it seems. You guys are right on the money. So to sit there and be like, oh, people are creating fake accounts and going and saying mean things about me. Like, 
mm -mm, maybe he took it down because he realized, oh, I don't want to be involved in this. My phone records were accessed by him. And that is how he knew, um, I would assume, how they knew where I had stayed in the last couple of Airbnbs that I'd been, been at. I don't know for sure, but I would assume that would be the only person besides my spouse that would know where I was. You post where you're going all the time. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's just so painful, though, because like, I did not expect for Gary to make that post from yesterday. And it, it meant so much to me. Why? Out of the blue, that he literally made a post that I meant so much to him. I hadn't really even tagged Gary in a whole lot of stuff recently. <laughs> recently. So I just woke up from a nap to a post. And he I probably tagged you to try and make you feel good and then realized how problematic you were. That's probably what it was. He probably was like, yo, this chick is struggling. She's been to a ton of my concerts. You know, I'm going to just do something nice and shout her out because I think she could use the moral boost. And she's been through so much because, of course, she'll tell tr half-truths and whatever narrative, like, basically suits her her perfect image, right? So he posted that out of pity, not out of anything and she's People sobbing creating fake profiles oh my god stop with the fake profiles and she's sobbing about this say mean things about me on his page and i have full he was involved in the fake profiles i have full suspect suspicions that they were involved and the fact is she throwing her friend under the bus here saying that they're the only person who created fake profiles and it's all it's all them to sabotage her. Coming from the girl who literally had 200 people call their work. She's being... That my favorite singer since I was eight years old just randomly talked about how much my support meant. And then had to take it down because I was getting so severely bullied on the post. I'm really not that okay. All these people, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, you're worthy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because this is exactly what she thrives in, unfortunately. And it's it's gotta be some form of mental illness. I'm not a mental illness. I'm not, I'm a professional. I'm not a therapist. I'm not any of that stuff. To seek validation from people who like aren't in your life like, like this and obsessively tag them so that they'll notice you and like seek that type of external validation. Like that's some next level mental health stuff. And like... And then to have a breakdown because the post got, because this random post got taken down. Like, I get it. It would be a low blow and... People were talking in his comments about how I didn't deserve it. I had two opportunities. I mean, like, <laughs> he was appreciating a, a hardcore fangirl who gives him a lot of money. But I, I don't think it was that deep. It wasn't that deep. Sure, like, send appreciation to the fandom, fangirl, whatever. But, like, I think people more so didn't want you to have an extended platform or to have the, the clout and the following that came from it and wanted him to know how much of a terrible person you are and how he probably shouldn't be promoting you. Just saying. And everyone, so jealous, so jealous, so jealous. I'm sorry that you need to put up with this. They are the ones that are sad. Sending you a virtual hug from NC. I'm not sad. Not today. I'm sad some days. Yeah, sure. Not sad today. I'm good. I'm good. I, maybe I was sad this day. When was it? 1 24. No. No, I was probably okay that day. I definitely wasn't sad. I also wasn't commenting though. I didn't even know about you at that point. <laughs> And I don't, I don't think he was mad at me. I don't think it's so bad. It was so bad that he had to take it down. I think that he was trying to do something nice and realized he made a mistake. My thoughts and prayers. Why are you praying about this? Like for her happy, ha peace, happy. What are you praying about? That's what I don't get. She's having a mental breakdown because a celebrity took a post down. What are you praying about? know no, even the scratch the surface of the level of unkindness that I've had to deal with 
Mm. Why? Why? Why are people being unkind to you? Maybe it's time for some self-reflection. Also, you're on the internet. You post your life on the internet. People are going to have an opinion about it and you don't get to control the narrative. You don't get to block everyone. You don't get to threaten and silence everyone. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. It's tit for tat. Why has it been a lot? And, Please. You know, I know some of you guys think I've been short with people lately, and I have. Because people have been so mean to me. How? Elaborate, please. How have they like, been mean? So mean. I'm so sad for you. Don't be sad for her. She's playing you, Catherine. She's playing you. You don't... This is sad fishing. Clue. But it's actually really interesting because most time when influencers have these, like, breakdowns, they're crying, but they're not actually crying. Like, there's no tears coming out. But, like, she is having a full-blown mental break about this because she is so obsessively on her phone that she knows exactly when it was posted exactly when it was taken down all of the comments i'm sure she has screens out blah, 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 like How mean. it must be exhausting to live in her head it must honestly be exhausting people have been to me and make stuff up um people make up the most ridiculous stuff just to bring me down right People also are sharing your true colors. Perhaps there are some allegations that are made up. Yeah, sure, I will give you that. But what about all of this? Everything that I've just presented so far, and we haven't even gotten into the clickbaiting death and monetizing death and monetizing miscarriages and children's death. We haven't even touched the surface of any of that. So what are people making up? Please clarify. If it's lies, say, hey, people are saying this about me. It's not true and move on. And if it wasn't true, if it was actually this crazy egregious lie on the internet, then why is it affecting you so much? Unless it's actually affecting you, but it's not. It's not like, People are phoning into your work to get you fired. It's not like people are weaponizing their fans against you to get you canceled. Like, dude, you're the one. You're the problem. Newsflash. It's you. Thank you. It hurts to see you cry. It's been hard. It's been so hard, hasn't it? <sighs> I can't with the bullshit. Here's part two. Oh, no, sorry. This is part not two. <laughs> part four. Okay. There we go. Just to bring you down. I know a lot of you guys. Uh Can you block the nasty people? I don't know how that works. Ignore those haters. I block them. Block them also. Understand she does though. obsessively. Um, I don't know if it had all to do with You just need an iced coffee sibling. with strawberry whipped cream. I mean, you can't let them win. They want to see you sad and down. Don't give them that. I know it's hard to ignore silence. Just know I personally am so proud of you and stay strong. And that I cut off, but I have a feeling that I did. And, um, thank you. Which is hard. Thank you guys. And which is hard, like. Please don't cry, beautiful. Don't let <laughs> ignorant people take up your space. <laughs> It's just silly the things that people have made up recently that are not even true, you know? Like what? Please elaborate. Um, it's just, it's just hard. I just ignore it. I literally just have to ignore things. <laughs> I just ignore it. I literally just have to ignore things. <sighs> oh God, that was the most ironic thing I've ever heard. Ironic? No. Contradictory? Maybe. Uh, not true. Untrue? biggest lie i've ever heard you don't ignore the hate you live on your hate forums and respond to them and post about it every day is this in her paid group i bet you that's what it is this is in her paid group where she's all meh, 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 and doesn't post the i get harassed i get harassed i get harassed every other second of every other day but please elaborate what are the lies you won't because you know why if she elaborates at all or does anything other than like begs for this sympathy which you notice how nobody's asking like what are people lying about what are they saying no 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 they're just saying they're just love bombing her that's it she's hoping that people don't ask about it or ask her to elaborate guarantee and if they do she's gonna skirt it because i have to because you have to it's just that people are terrible Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. people are terrible 
That's, Guys. That's the most ironic thing I've ever heard. There you go. That's a good use of the word irony right there. I know a lot of you guys don't know this because I didn't even take a break from social media. Mm -hmm. Please remember, this isn't a full-time job. Then this tough. This is my full-time job. It's how I take care of Joseph and myself. Then tough. Sorry, the criticism comes with the fame. You think Gary Lavox doesn't have a bunch of haters? You think Drew and Gabe don't have a bunch of haters? No, it's part and parcel. You chose to display your entire life on the internet. You chose this life. It's your full-time job. You could, you could go get a real job if it's really too hard for you to be, you know, just a good person for you to take accountability. It's not lies if there are receipts. You have doxxed people and you didn't even apologize for it. And that's the tip of the iceberg. I have prepaid six months of my phone bill with my brother. He has not given me his money back because we're not giving him our phone plan anymore. He's not giving me any of his money back. And I had to pay a pretty significant amount of money today to change my number and get new phones because I don't like to have ex super expensive bills. So I had to grind my phones. Um, I, I went ahead and put a good chunk of money down on my phone so that my bills will be smaller. So, but I thought you made three months full time. No, what did she? What did she say? Three months full time work salary in one month on social media. So why are you crying? Boo hoo! You had to pay a bunch of money. Like, you have a bunch of money, right, Kylie? That's what you tell your followers. You have a bunch of money. So why is it such a big deal that you had to buy a phone outright? If you don't like the heat, get off the internet. Stop sad fishing. Um. I'm thankful that I was like in a place where I could go and turn my phones, like get new phones and get myself in a healthier position. Um, but I can't, yeah. Hey, Liana, that's part of the issue. People harassing about things that they don't know about, period. Period. I know. Stop it. Stop being part of the problem. If you don't know people, if you don't know somebody. What? What? What was the comment? What I missed? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know anybody, if you don't know somebody, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Well, do you know the women that you doxxed just the other day? No. Leave them alone. You don't know. You don't know them. Leave them alone. We're not leaving you alone because you have yet to take accountability at any point in your life for any of your actions. And I don't think it's fair that you have a cult-like social media following, that you get paid a lot of money, and you've skirted accountability through and through, for any of your actions. So bite me with this, leave me alone. Get off the internet, sorry. Truth hurts, don't it? When your entire life is on the internet. I'm not worried about people though. I'm not worried about people lying, I'm really not. That's why you're doxing people and constantly posting, I hate, I hate. See, and again, again, she can spew that if this is in her other group, not the support group, because I'm pretty sure if I understand correctly, she has a monetized group and she also has a smaller support group. And in the smaller support group, not in the monetized page, she'll post the, I'm harassed, I'm being harassed, I'm being harassed, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, all the drama bullshit. Which please, please Kylie, please keep going. Keep telling them you're being harassed because that'll bring more people to me and to the exposed page. Just keep digging that hole, girl. If you don't care, don't engage with it. But you are terrified because your reputation is going down the toilet right now. And you can't mitigate it this time. You don't get to be a bad person and burn every single bridge with everyone in your life and come out on the other side a better person, a bigger person. No, no. Mm -mm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Annette. Thank you. Honestly, you're on m media. People are going to be mean. Ignore them. As long as you are on social media, you will be bullied, I, I think, because it's you. Blah, 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 blah. Again, some people are bullying. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know, I agree. That's why I'm careful about what I say on my platform. I don't want to be a bully. I want people to be accountable for their actions, for their shitty behaviors. And I want their fans to know the truth about them. So, but yes, yes, there are bullies. You're right. But that's not what she's scared of. That's not what she's all up in arms and upset about. 
It's people exposing the truth. She's, like she said, she's not worried about the lies. Why would you be worried about the lies? I said that too. If it's bullshit lies, ignore it. Why are you crying on a Facebook Live then? You're on the internet. <laughs> Been Show me the receipts, please. Expose the receipts of bullying. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And substantial content right here. It's been a lot. People just make stuff up. And it's been a lot. But it was, it was, I, I, think I, was breaking point. I, do. I was hoping. Um, I was hoping there would be another. It's been point, a lot. I'm also trying to like just breathe, you know, and figure out. Yeah. Up with friends is not bad. Breaking up with friends is not bad. Sometimes we have to. Um, <laughs> yeah, and thank God for him. Of the day and everything. So, thank you guys. I have coffee and I'm talking to family to see how grandma is. Nobody has my number yet. Um, except for my mom and Joe, one friend. So it's very unfortunate that I had to do that so bad, but it is what it is. <laughs> Woe is me. It's really unfortunate that I had to be hurt so bad, but it is what it is. Oh my God. It is what it is. Okay. I love you guys so much. I hope you get a day. Okay. Bye. Well, that was fun to watch. I find these lives to be probably the most informative because I mean it's you, <laughs> the little the little through and throughs start to start to shine and, and and peek through a little bit and wild I have to end this here guys uh it's like dinner time I gotta go make dinner the, the baby just started crying I don't know he probably fell because he's climbing <laughs> nowadays someone save me please next episode what are we calling these next video i guess we will get into more of the like allegations and stuff like that more of the more recent stuff and kind of more of the content warning like it's it's gonna be a harder video but it's it's gonna be a really eye-opening really important one as well I wanted to start here with kind of like the the soft core stuff and 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 but she's she's not who she says she is. I have spoken to people in her inner circle. I have spoken to fans. I have spoken to a lot of people and I am very thorough and I do my own research. She is not who she says she is. Everything she does is calculated. She's gained her following likely illegally on Facebook and or like against Facebook policies and she's she's not who she says she is and all the lies and all the hate and all the bullying I can almost guarantee nobody's reaching out to her DMing her threatening her because if they were you know she would dox them lol when you forget to unmute I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are. Part 2 will be posted ASAP. Don't forget to like subscribe. It really helps get this in front of more eyeballs. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I'll see you all soon.